Cardiff Castle is an icon of Wales's capital city. It's well known that it was a Roman camp and later a Norman castle before it was rebuilt in the 1800s. There are other fortified places around Cardiff, some quite well known, others perhaps not so much. They may not be as impressive as this castle, but they are an important part of the city's heritage. The Iron Age hill fort at Cairo in Ely is very notable. It was created by the Silures, the people who lived here in pre-Roman times. This was a very large and well defended Iron Age fort. It's 13 acres, so two and a half thousand years ago, hundreds of people must have been living on this hilltop. This almost triangular fort hugs the contours of the land and it has huge earthworks of ditches and ramparts that can be seen today. In fact, this hilltop was in use even earlier, during the Neolithic period about five and a half thousand years ago, and much later the Romans were here. A ruined 12th century church can be seen on site too. Less well known is Floindar the Hillfort, which lies south of Penturch. This is a smaller defensive Iron Age hill fort of about one acre. Perched on a hilltop, it had a commanding view of its surroundings. The defensive ditches are still just about visible. However, the site is on private farmland and there's no public access. A similar site is on the Wenacht Hill in the north of the city. It's quite small and heavily wooded now. But the Siluries living here in pre-Roman times would have had a panoramic view of the land below. This site is sometimes referred to as an Iron Age enclosure. It's also a hill fort. You can still see the defensive earthworks. Today, it's very beautiful woodland, a perfect place for a country walk. A later site of interest is at Morganstown, where the Normans established a base. They built a mot, that is, a type of temporary castle with an earth mound and usually wooden palisades. The Normans probably came here quite soon after the 1066 conquest. As invaders, they would have needed safe places to protect themselves from the hostile locals. And they built one here right behind me on a site that is now completely covered with trees and bushes. These motts and courtyards or baileys were quite common before the Normans built their imposing castles of stone. There's another Cardiff mott among green space at Rubina. It's known locally as the Mound. And what of that other local icon, Castell Coch? the Red Castle. The Gothic building we see today was a rich man's fantasy made true in the 1880s. But there was a castle on this site before then. It was built on the remains of a Norman castle of 800 years earlier, and which, it seems, was destroyed in the Welsh Rebellion of 1314. And finally, we have the mysterious Castell Morgraig, Morgraig Castle. It's in Caerphilly, but on the mountain and overlooks Cardiff. There's not much to see. The scraps of walls that remain are covered with vegetation. It was built in the mid-1200s, but by whom? Was it the Welsh lords to the north or the Norman English to the south? We don't know for sure. The castle was a mishmash of design, and it seems it was never finished. The story of Morgrai Castle is one of many that have been lost in time.